All right, I'm sorry. I, I press record because I want to record this for YouTube so that I can post this on YouTube as well. Because this is my first look at this game. Can't wait for Thanksgiving. Neither can I, my friend. Honestly, Thanksgiving is going to be awesome because well, we have a Friendsgiving coming up for my work. And then we got Thanksgiving for my work. I, I have everything planned for. I'm really excited to be able to feed everybody at work. And I hope it goes well. And then, of course, Thanksgiving dinner at home. I really hope I can get some, like, actual pants. I'm not- I've never been one for shorts. I don't like shorts. Do you say Friendsgiving? Yes, there's a Friendsgiving, which is something that our work is doing for the administrative staff, which is for all of us to get together. And then I'm doing a Friendsgiving with my D&D group. Yeah, I got a lot of things going on with- Is the food very tasty? So you should send me some. <laughs> Listen, if I could send you some food, I would. But it would probably be cold and not as good as when I heated it up. Or when I cooked it the first time around. Hi. Can you go lay down? I love you. Now go lay down. Go lay down. What, do you want to... Oi, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me. Oh, uh, you want a cut? Huh? You want a cut? Huh? huh? You want a cut? Give us a cut. Your breath is so bad. You know that, right? You have very bad breath. No, I love you. I do. I love you. Mm. Now, go lay down. Be nice. You you want a piece? A piece? A piece? Who's a good girl? Huh? Who's a good girl? I love you too. You have been my friend, and I really am thankful for all of my mods on my stream. All right, go lay down. I love my dogs. I do. I would do that with my ba my oldest dog, but she's um she's not got the best joints, you know. She used to be able to jump a lot. And she used to love doing it, but she doesn't do it so much anymore. I mean, she doesn't jump at all anymore. I don't make her do that. I don't want to I don't want to let her jump because she's too old. But I I love my dogs. I do. Yeah, the the little black and white one that you saw is uh, Echo, she's a cow terrier, and then the black and tan one is Mocha. She's a spaz. I mean, she's an Aussie and a German mix. Which is sad because the worst thing about it is she came from really bad breeding. And because of that, like, you can tell by the way that she sits, she's gonna have really bad, really bad hip, dis hip dysplasia. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't because there's not much I can do to stop it. I can help alleviate the pain as best as I can, but I cannot stop the deformation from happening, which sucks. What's up, Princess Kami? That's one of the saddest things about those breeds. How are you, my friend? I hope you're having a good day. And of course, if you're interested in some gameplay, I am live on Twitch at Asian Fasha Gamer. Same spelling as my TikTok tag, playing the brand new Pokemon game. Wait, what, why am I going upstairs to my room? I missed some dialogue here.
What's up, Wolfgang Asmodeus? Favorite game is definitely gonna be Pokemon Silver. That has been my favorite game of all time for the longest of times. And that hasn't changed. Pokemon Silver was the game that really truly got me into gaming. Favorite indie game? You know, I don't think I have a favorite indie game, to be honest. Maybe Ori and the Blind Forest. Because that was a really good game. It was really beautifully done. The music was fantastic. I mean, as a platformer, it was fucking awesome. What about Dark Hollow? I don't think I've tried that one. Share a recipe. Alright. I have a recipe for you. This is one that we actually are doing for our residence tomorrow. And it is braised pork. Now, what you want to do is you want to get a nice big whole pork butt, okay? If you can't get a whole four pound pork butt, you can use a stew, like, you can use, um, stew cut pork. Uh, you just need to get roughly about four pounds, alright? And you're going to braise this for anywhere between 4 hours to 24 hours. The longer you let it braise, the softer and more flavorful the product will be. And it's really simple. All you need is your standard mirepoix. And by standard mirepoix, I mean carrots, celery, and onions. This is what's known as a mirepoix for cooking. And this is your very basic flavor profile. And you use these a lot in roasting. So, carrots, celery, and onions, alright? You want to cut those up, clean them up, put them in a pan. You want to get your pork butt. And you want to put some seasoning on it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of brown sugar, and a little bit of paprika on the outside. So, kind of like whiskey? Yeah, kind of like whiskey. And then what you do is you get a pan nice and hot with a little bit of oil and you want to sear the outside of this pork butt so that there is a nice actual texture difference between the outside and the inside of the meat. Once you've done this, you want to put the meat inside of the pan that you have put your um, celery, carrots, and onions in. And you want to make sure it's a deep dish pan, okay? You want this pan deep enough to be able to fit all of these, all of these vegetables as well as the pork butt and to be able to submerge the majority of the pork butt. You want at least enough liquid to cover 20% of that meat to ensure that it gets braised properly, okay? And the type of liquid that you want to be using, you can use either chicken stock or beef stock, depending on the flavor profile you want. If you use chicken stock, the flavor profile will be a little bit lighter and a little bit sweeter. You use beef stock, you'll have a lot more umami and depth in that flavor. And you also want to add in one can of tomato paste and about four tablespoons of brown sugar and about three to four cloves of whole garlic. You can smash them to add in extra flavor. I prefer adding them in whole because if you smash them, then you add in more spice and bitterness. But if you leave them whole, you add in more sweetness when it comes to garlic. And you want to also add in a sprig of thyme and a sprig of rosemary tie that up so it makes a sachet put that in the liquid cover everything up really tightly with a uh, tin foil because you're essentially making a mini pressure cooker almost and you're going to stick this in your oven now if you're going to cook it for roughly about four hours you want to stick it in your oven at roughly 450 degrees and leave it in there for about five to four hours if you're going to go for the longer method, you want to stick it in the oven at roughly 250 degrees and leave it in there for 24 hours before you take it out and open the lid and actually test to see how soft it is. But I'm going to tell you right now, you wait that 24 hour method and it will be the softest meat you've ever had. And that's your recipe, my friend. Oh, I still need to talk to the professor. Now you can also add into the braising liquid things like papaya juice or um, pineapple juice which will actually aid in breaking down the meat into a much softer texture. But you do have to be careful because if you add in too much and you cook it too long, 
those types of uh, fruits like papaya or pineapple have enzymes that break down protein to a point where it could be a mushy gelatinous mess and that might not be a texture that you're going for. Also, Hollow Knight was fucking amazing. It really was. I just prefer the platforming in, um, in, uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. And also, if anybody is curious on my TikTok, I am currently playing, uh, Pokemon Scarlet. If you want to check out the gameplay, I am live on Twitch at Asian Fudge Gamer. Same spelling as my TikTok tag. Who's crying and why are you crying? Mocha! Echo! Lay down. Uh, you know what? Give me one second. Don't say. Oh, Hollow Knight is too confusing for you. Oh, I, I, I completely understand, and thank you. I love this shirt as well. But yeah, I completely understand why Hollow Knight can be confusing. Um, it's not straightforward, obviously, at all. Whereas Ori and the Blind Forest is kind of straightforward a lot of the times. But with Hollow Knight, it also adds in so many more aspects to, you know, scatter about story lore. Which is some of the things I do like doing. Oh, look at my hat. Alright. I already know which starter I was going to choose. I know, I, I have to redo my rewards. I really do. And there's things that I have to fix up for my stream. I just, I've, I've been letting things get away from me, you know? Because I really want to finish the profiles for the Fang and Talon project so that I can make the server public and we can start getting people in and having the RP fun of being dinosaurs. And so I can start adding that, that content into my YouTube and start creating the project that I want for Fang and Talon and um, Tang and Fallon. Oh, Mr. Gatito is so cute. But I know that I was going to go for Fue Coco. What's up, 1HP? How are you, my friend? Now that I know that you used to be formerly Keeper. I hope you're having a good day, my friend. If I were to join the Path of Titan server, then you make me a mod and or Yeah, most definitely. You're not okay, you more, let's put it this way. You're not gonna lose your spot. You're not. So don't worry about that. Oh yeah, you're gonna ban another. You're gonna ban another mod on my stream, on my Twitch. Come on, Yamori. You and your nonsense already. My days been pretty freaking great, my friend. I uh, got uh, my tires changed, and then I got home, and I am now playing Pokemon. I got this a day early, and I'm so fucking excited because it was supposed to come out yesterday. It was supposed to be out on. T uh, it's supposed to be available for uh, those who didn't pre-order on the 18th, and now I have this. I know which one I'm going to choose. What you give me, mama? Rotom phone. I'm gonna choose Fue Coco. I was always gonna choose Fue Coco. That's just my thing. I've always gone with fire, and I will always go with fire. Cause Quill, uh, cause Cinequil, it was my favorite, one of my favorite. Hi. Jesus Christ, you scared the crap out of me. Can you not do that? Can you go lay down, please? Go, go lay down. Lay down, lay down. And don't you grumble at her. Leave her alone. No, lay down.
Oh, excuse me. What's up, Max? How are you? Wait, where are you fucking going? You're not gonna let me choose right now, are you? <laughs> oh my god. You're making some spaghetti right now, right? Now. Why can't I talk to Quaxley? No! I already talked to Sprigadito! Oh my god. Can't wait to get this. I can't either. Do I have to go back in my house or something? To your neighbor's house. Okay, why can't I run though? Is there a different button to run? Uh, now, I now I need to figure out if there's like an actual run button or am I just being stupid? Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. God damn! What the fuck is this? Is this the demo? No, this is the full on game. There it is. So, tech speed fast. Okay. I mean, I'll save for now. I still don't get why I can't run. How come I can't run? Who made this? Yes, this is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Oh, now I can run. What the fuck? Whatever. Isn't this supposed to come out tomorrow? Apparently I got it early because I pre-ordered it. So I was like, I'll be damned if I'm not going to be playing this game if I got it a day fucking early. Yep. <laughs> I bought. <laughs> Excuse me. I bought the dual pack from uh, GameStop, and uh, uh, my wife is gonna be playing Violet. I play Scarlet. <laughs> and yeah, so we bought. I pre-ordered this. Literally, I believe a week. Or th uh, about a week and a half, yeah, about a week and a half after the announcement of the game release, and I pre-ordered the, du the, the 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 dual box set. And uh, where is it? But yes, I do have a disc copy because I don't like digital copies when it comes to games. I prefer having the actual physical disc with me. And this game does look amazing. Favorite TV show or movie? My favorite movie, let's see, I can give you my, one of my favorite anime, it, it's hard for me to say because my, my thing is, when it comes to my preferences, it's a revolving door. And what's up, Cassie? How are you, my friend? I hope you're having a good day. I appreciate you showing up. And if you ever want to check out some gameplay, if you if you can, I am on Twitch playing a little bit of Pokemon. Uh, the new one, it just came out, I got it early, and I'm so excited to play it right now. 
But I hope you're having a great day. I do. Let's see, have you seen the new Warzone? No, I haven't, and I'm not really interested. I'm sorry. It's, it's, I'm not a Warzone guy. It's just not my thing, you know, Mason? And I know you know that. But yeah, favorite TV show or movie? It's hard for me to say, but I can give you one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite live-action movies would definitely have to be A Beautiful Mind. One of my favorite anime movies would definitely have to be Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind. Yeah, let's be friends. President of the Student Council, okay. Alright, let's battle! I already know which Pokemon I came here for. I came here for Poikoko. Can you let me choose my Pokemon already? I want my partner. Poikoko is going to be my partner. Like, I made this decision so long ago. Uh, which, which one? The, the one with the scammers or the one that you placed in, um, in the safe space? Hell yeah, Foy Coco. What did you think? Uh, I'll have to look that up. I didn't have a chance to actually read it. Um, what did you think about Legend? I actually really like Legend of Arceus, and there's a lot of aspects of Legend of Arceus that I really wanted to bring into this game. There are certain things that I know they did it, and certain things that I think that they did. I, I have to play the game to see what that's going to be like. So, let's hope for the best, right? Because the battle system for Legend of Arceus was fucking amazing. The fact that you were ha that you had the variety of attack sets, where you could either do a, uh, a normal type, a speed or a power type of one type of attack move, they allowed for so much variation in battle that would make so much more dynamic gameplay for the Pokemon game as it progresses. You would think that they would want to add that into the combat of this game. So, I'm not sure. I'm hoping. All right, what should we name Fue Coco? Ah! Damn it! I screwed up. I'll, I'll, I'll name him again later. I believe there's, o there's always a way for you to rename your Pokemon. And in case anybody wants to check it out, I am live on Twitch at Asian Fusher Gamer. Same spelling as my TikTok tag. Currently playing a little bit of the new Pokemon game. Are you going to give me one of your Premier Balls? Because it looks like you got nice Premier Balls. Giggity. Okay, now she gets to choose the Pokemon. Now who will you choose? I know who you're going to choose. You're going to choose Quaxley. Because if you chose Sprigatito, you wouldn't be that good of a fucking rival. Now would you? Be right back, gotta patrol my house real fast. Alright, Yamari, you stay safe. You chose Sprigatito. You know, I miss the days where your rival would actually pick the opposite end of the spectrum to your Pokemon, making theirs the advantage over yours, so that you actually had a fucking challenge! Don't worry, I have a big-ass sword. Okay. I don't like the fact that they, over, over the years, changed it that your rival chooses the one that's weak to the one that you chose. We're not even gonna battle? What the fuck? Oh, okay. I was about to say! Where are you going? Why are you running? That's cool, I can slide. What, you wait, you wait, what? Do I have to talk to you to battle? Holy shit. It's not just... Ding! 
That's interesting. I kind of like that. That's what I would have expected. You know, that's 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 uh, that's pretty tandem out for pretty uh, for most Pokemon games. It's just it's question. You, you see exclamation point when they see you, and all of a sudden they talk to you. Oh, so you're walking here? I'm about to go fucking fuck your shit up. Okay. Done. Done. So let's see how this goes. I kind of wish they had voice acting for this game. Why does Pokemon not have voice acting yet? I, I get the main character not having voice acting because it's your character and there's a variable, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But why don't the other characters in the game have voice actors? <clears throat> yeah, there's no voice actors. What the fuck? I'm sure there's a myriad of reasons they can give us, but I would think in this day and age they would be able to have voice actors in certain segments of Pokemon. I don't know. Hey, what's up? I mean, not, that you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm not saying that it wouldn't be a challenge, but I would think that it'd be a challenge that Nintendo and Game Freak at this stage in their development would be willing to handle. Okay. No, really. Okay, so far I'm okay with this because Fikoko actually opens its mouth to release Ember rather than just, you know, jiggle and then you see fire appear on the Pokemon. Cause that's what happened in that's 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 the Sword and Shield. Literally, Sword and Shield Ember was jiggle, fire uh, graphics appear on the other Pokemon. Battle again soon. I have a Rotom phone. Pokedex app. Okay, wait, how the fuck did she add it just by touching the fucking phone? Or did she just download an app onto my phone without asking me? Either way, I have questions. Filling out the Pokédex. Ah, oh, that's that's a Legend of Arceus reference right there. Pokemon is strange, but overall fun. Yes, it is. It's awesome, honestly. Because, like, you gotta think about its origins. I mean, it came... It was created by somebody who loved the idea of collecting and displaying bugs. 
And of course, in Japan, it, it is it, it's kind of a it was a regular pastime. I don't know if it's still, it is a regular pastime to gather like rhino beetles and some of them having a fight. And those all aspects mingled into the culture that they created for this game, essentially is what birthed the catch and collect aspect of Pokemon. play Skyrim but I always came back. Hell yeah. I'm just waiting for Elder Scrolls 6. Such a missed opportunity not to have voice acting. I'm hoping that the next generation of Pokemon with the next generation, more than likely which will be released with the next generation of Nintendo consoles, will actually have Void Thefters. I mean, it's great that they have Pokemon that have essentially the ability to s I, I mean it, it's, it's great it's great that they have voice stuff for pokemon but one second that would be awesome right i can't I, we'll, we'll have to see we'll have to see uh that's not what i wanted to do remember moves i can remember moves without okay interesting can I change his name? No. Uh, I can change their nickname here. Alright, so I can actually give him a nickname. Let's see. Fire and apples. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't. But this is what comes to mind. Okay. His nickname is Shanks. Okay, where, where the fuck is she? I'm at the academy. Why are you at the steps? You're supposed to take me to school. Oh, it's because my mama's here. And she's like, what? A year old? Uh, like, probably about two years older than me. Yeah, about six foot taller than me, or six inches taller than I am. That's kind of a cute apron. It's it's a ladle with a pokeball in it. I like that. I would like that apron. It's funny how she always wears an apron. <laughs> You never know, maybe like she might work in a cafe or something. She just gave me a sandwich. Aw, thank you, Mom. I'm gonna go have fun being a, uh, Pokemon with stereotypes. It, it, yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, now you're going to teach me how to catch wild Pokemon. Did you give me Pokeballs? I bet you anything she didn't give me Pokeballs. Are you gonna let me move? 
to come follow me, I'm gonna teach you about wild Pokemon. But I'm not gonna give you any Pokeballs. Every man for themselves. It'd be kind of cool if they kept the aspect of your character having health and the Pokemon in the wild being able to attack you. I kind of like that concept from Legend of Arceus. Alright, Max, you have a good one. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. So I see this shit, that shit, and Chris Kirkpatrick. A <laughs> good old Pokeball! Well, thanks! Am I gonna go catch a Lechonk? Is that gonna be my first Pokemon? Yep. My first capture is gonna be Lechonk. What's up, piggy boy? Alright, let's see how Tackle looks. That's kind of funny. I like the animation where it's it's Foy Coco literally throwing himself. Tackle! <laughs> Go, Shanks! Alright. Now to get a Pokeball! Hell yeah! I got a lit chunk. Huh. Wait, is this a... I don't know if this is a boy or a girl lit chunk. You know, I never even checked if like, Coco was a boy or a girl. Well, thanks for giving me your Pokeballs and telling me you suck at catching Pokemon. I mean, you don't have to be so harsh on yourself, Jesus. So we're gonna go back to the lighthouse? Lechonk hair, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So head to the lighthouse, but I'm gonna go catch your Pokemon. Oh look, a potion. Here we go. Interesting. What's up, Goblin? How are you doing? Go, Pokeball! Did I catch it? Yeah! Alright, cool. I don't know, I try to catch all the Pokemon as early as I can in the first areas because... You can help me make up a decent team is sometimes. I kind of like the fact that they have books. That's a very interesting thing. I got Lechonks, Lechonks, Lechonks. Ooh, a Hoppips. Hello, Hoppip. Tackle. I still find it hilarious that the attack was like, just flop. Yeah, I'm 
catching you. Thank you, Hoppet. Whether I evolve, whether I evolve you into Blossom or um, Gumpluff, you will be useful. Hey, Tech the Savage, how are you, my friend? You finally moved. Are things going well for you, my friend? I hope so. And I appreciate you being here. It's nice to know that you're safe and still around. Uh, let's see, what else is there around here? Ah! I thought I could make it up there. Apparently not. Look, I got a Pokeball. Are you enjoying your new space? I hope so, my friend. Potion, antidotes. What's that? Is that what I think it is? Yes! Under the Pokemon! Let's see, I made a good amount of money with this job. Made 1400 last week alone. Fuck yeah, right on, my friend. I'm glad to hear that things are going well for you. Really, I truly am. Alright. And of course, if anybody on my TikTok wants to check out the new Pokemon game, I am live on Twitch at Asian Project Gamer. Same spelling as my TikTok tag. Currently playing the brand new game. Yes. Scatterbug. Okay, cool. Probably not gonna keep Scatterbug because I don't want to have too many. Um, I don't want to have too many in in insect Pokemon in my party because it's a matter of evolving them properly. Well, what's up, my friend? How are you? I'm doing well. I'm having fun. I'm excited to be playing the new Pokemon game, and I'm excited to see when my wife gets home because she also has. The new Pokemon game now, thanks to the fact that it came early. And if you want to check out some gameplay, I am live on Switch at Asian Fudge Gamer. Same spelling as my TikTok tag. I thought you were ahead of me. When did you get behind me? And thank you so much for the roses. I do appreciate it. Could be a strong Pokemon. Okay, it's just a strong Pokemon. Why are you going towards it when all you have is a babe? Whatever, never mind. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't. <laughs> Every fiber of my being is telling me that this is a bad idea. That still beat you up, fool. You two are ridiculous. You know that? The chunk, the chunk, pop it, worm pulls. Sorry, I'm just gathering shit. Okay, I thought I saw... Birdies. Birdie. Birdie, birdie. Did they all fly away? What the heck is that? What is this? It's another potion. Okay, but what happened to the birds? I thought I saw birds. Am I going crazy? I am going crazy. Oh, there, there's one. Not a bird Pokemon, but it's something. 
I love it. This game is so far a lot of fun. Sorry. This game is so far a lot of fun. A lot of fucking fun. Animations aren't so lazily done in this one so far from what I can see. There's no jiggle and anim and and then attack animation occur like weird attack graphic. Like tackle is actually you see Fue Coco flop. I mean I like that. I like that. I'm still sad that there's not voice acting in the game though. I really think that Pokemon Game Freak Nintendo should be adding voice acting to this game. Or at least it should be a consideration. All right, I caught the uh, the 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 what is it? Um, the the Pikachu variant of this game. But, ladies and gentlemen, I do hate to say it, but it is that time. Gotta be ending my stream here. But I will be live again next week, alright? And I'll be playing some more Pokemon. You can guarantee it. But y'all here on Twitch, you stay right where you are because you're going to send a raid off to somebody and help make their day. But y'all here on Twitch, you have a good one. See you all later. Appreciate you and bye bye Alright, no, 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 y'all stay right where you are. You stay right where you are because we gotta send a raid off to somebody. We gotta find someone to help have a great day. Ooh, hell yes. We are going to raid my buddy, Mr. Skinny Man Games. He is a great friend of mine. He's actually been there for me since the very beginning, to be honest. He's one of the first friends I made through streaming. So please do show him the same amount of love that y'all have shown me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a wonderful fucking day. Alright? Bye bye <laughs>